And after he finishes saying his kingly stuff, these young men, they respond. And so, you know, I got to look at it because a lot of times people say, you know, young, young people, you don't know nothing. But when you follow Christ, you should know something. Because you can be an old person and know absolutely nothing. Especially if you're supposed to be following Christ, but you're not. So therefore, you don't even understand why you're in the position that you're in because you keep crying about the position that you're in. Not giving it to the Lord. Because you don't understand who the Lord is. But yet here are these young men whose lives, half the time, we, we go against the Lord and, and our life ain't even in danger. Just our feelings. Just our pleasures, our joys. These young men's lives is on the line. And so I'm wondering, man, how can y'all stand that firm and that bold and still trust God in the midst of you being enslaved? Why would you still hold? Because I, I mean, I, I know how we are in today's world. Lord, if you love me, I wouldn't be in slavery. If you love me, I wouldn't be in this position. If, if, if you love me, you, you would hear my cry. You would hear my plea if you love me. So why in the world would I continue to worship, to bow down before you, or even put my life on the line when you got me in this mess? This messed up situation. So before they speak, they have to consider the cost of everything they're about to say. And who they are and whose they are. Many of us, we do things without considering the cost, the possibilities of what may happen or what may not happen if I don't engage the way I'm supposed to engage this conversation. How much power or non-power will I have? And remember, a power is just an illusion, right? Because the only power is the absolute power, which belongs to who? Amen. So you already know you really ain't got no power. But you must consider the cause before you speak against the system. Before you speak against your employee. Before you speak against your pastor, your church, your fellowship, your group, your organization. Before you speak outside of that thought process, you better consider the cause. Because there will always be a price to pay. Amen. 